from GameChurch.com here with Zach Johnson, the lead designer of West of Loathing. Yeah. And uh, so tell us a little bit about West of Loathing, what makes it unique? Uh, well, West of Loathing is a comedic stick figure cowboy adventure role playing game. Um, yeah. It's set in the same universe as a really long running web based MMO that, uh, that I made in 2003 yeah. uh, that we've been working on since then. And it's, uh, it's got sort of a hand drawn stick figure aesthetic, and the writing is, uh, is it consistently at least tries to be pretty funny, and it's a very just sort of lighthearted but still. Uh, extremely large uh, role-playing game experience. Yeah, yeah. And so did you do a lot of the writing as well? I would say that, so there's me and one other writer, and yeah. he, did, he did, as it turned out, about 80% of it okay. uh, on this game. We, we split, it, it varies a little bit as the as the years go by on uh, on the original game and stuff, but it just, it yeah. got to the point where it was a better use of my time to do more design sure. and scripting stuff uh, yeah. towards the end, and so most okay. of the writing ended up being cool. on his plate. I ask because, I think West of Loathing is genuinely hilarious. It's like genuinely funny. And I play so many games, so many games that try to be funny and aren't. So I was just curious about how y'all managed to pull that off. That's what people people have, have, have talked about how surprising it is. It, it seems, you know, I think a lot of games will be funny for a minute, but then they kind of yeah. lose steam as you get into it, and they, then they get grindy, or they yeah. get just like less attention gets paid to the writing or whatever. But we, you know, we've been working together for so long on Kingdom of Loathing and d doing things in this basically the exact same style that it's just kind of how everything that we make comes out now. Yeah. Like we're we're just sort of constantly in in content meetings, like trying to make each other laugh, and yeah. then that just sort of translates to like. Uh, you know, just trying to get that same kind of house voice into every single bit of writing yeah. and every single bit of sort of, you know, visual gag opportunity in the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And so, um, do you guys have, like, have a, what, what's the process of, like, deciding if something is funny enough to make it into the game? What does that look like? I, I think it's just if either, if, if, if any of us think it's funny, yeah. then it's probably worth putting in. You know, we, there was a... I remember a long time ago hearing the Mystery Science Theater 3000 guys. Somebody asked them in an interview, like, are you ever worried about making a joke that's too obscure or yeah. too, like, esoteric or weird? And they said no, because even if it's a joke that only one out of a thousand people understand what it's about, like, yeah. how happy is that one guy going to be when yeah. he gets this joke that just seems like to speak exactly to him? Right. So we have such a shotgun approach to just, like, let's make a joke at every single opportunity. So yeah. they, don't, they don't all have to be winners. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna yeah. you know, try and keep a good signal to noise ratio. But. Yeah, and I'm curious if you, there's any sort of like values that uh, undergird the humor that you instill in the game. Because one of the things I noticed too is that a lot of video games that are humorous are super cynical, but there seems to be like a like a joy. I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah. a joy to the kind of humor that you guys. It, it, we, I think we've, and especially as we've, we're, we're also. I think, you know, we're all like in our early 40s as a studio yeah. too, and I think that like we've mellowed it, we were pretty mellow to begin with and pretty yeah. lighthearted in our approach to stuff even sure. 15 years ago, but especially now, it just seems like there's already, there's plenty of people making mean-spirited jokes yeah. in the world, and they're, it's more challenging, I think, in an interesting way as a, as a writer to, to make jokes that aren't going to hurt anybody's feelings, yeah. you know, because anybody can make a bad review of something funny if they don't like it, or just talk right. about how terrible something is, or or make fun of people or whatever, but for us it's like, it's better to just like, yeah, what what if this is funny because two words sound alike, or, you know, right. just like, like just kind of, I don't know, it's it's a very dad joke kind of yeah. thing, I think, is, is what that style yeah. has come to be known as, and I really do think that it's just like, Kind of the non-cynical branch of the evolution yeah. of what of what humor is now, and, yeah. and it's it's just always I don't know it's it's better to not hurt people's feelings, you know. Sure. Like that's yeah. that's just yeah. kind of always been my yeah. I like that. Um, and if you had to narrow down to one thing that you hope players gain from playing West of Loathing, what would it be? Oh boy, maybe just distraction from the disaster that is uh, the current moment in yeah. history that we're in. Um, right. You know, it's it's I, like I, I do. You know, I think everybody who makes stuff sort of worries, like, is this the best use of my time? Like, sure. could I could I be out making more of a difference in the world? But I think that it is important to remember that, like, no, there needs to just be joy in the world. And, like, one way of, you know, one way of increasing the amount of happiness is making people happy as opposed to, yeah. you know, 
Yeah. Just just reducing the reducing the amount of unhappiness in the world. Yeah. And games are a great platform for that. Yeah, I, th I think so. At they least. can it's, be. Yeah. 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 Cool. Uh, last question. I like to ask game designers is why do you make games? What drives you? What gets you up in the morning to I make games? I never wanted to do anything else. Even even as a kid, you know, I, I would get like in the '80s they published books of basic source code of games, and and all I ever wanted to do was like go through those and and you know type them in and change them and and, and you know go find go find yeah. another one. And it's just I just I don't know what I don't know what it was about it, uh, but I just I. I never wanted to do anything except make yeah. video games. That's cool. That's cool. That's awesome. Well, we really uh, dig West of Loathing. It's super fun. Um, so it's available now. So go check it out uh, on Steam and yep. only on Steam for now. Oh, uh, I I iOS is coming pretty soon. Well, this is great. Thanks. We really appreciate your time, nice Zach, and uh, we love West of Loathing. <laughs>